Hey, hello there. This is going to be a tutorial on how to build a brick wall system like this. It's a quick uh, trick on uh, how to make your bricks in this tiled pattern and make them also make this corner. As you can see here, I'm working on the system. Uh, this is not finished yet. Still uh, adding parameters. It's going to be a very long list of parameters that you can use for this system. But uh, I'm still refining it. As you can see, these are all individual instances. Uh, you can add more very quickly. It's really quick because it's still all instances. And uh, you can also change the patterns and make them rotate. And make all kinds of interesting things. So... Uh, the quick trick on how to do this, uh, I was looking for it for a while on uh, a good way. Um, I got some very complex things and then suddenly I found something which was pretty simple. So if we start with a cube, for example, um, cube, just a regular cube. We are now in 4.2, the latest version of Blender. So let's go in here. So we have this cube and it has a subdivision of 10 or yeah let's leave it at 10. go into this view and we want to create instances instances of points we make another cube we give it all two vertices because this is going to be the brick put this one in then scale this down until they are this uh, so now we have a system where we create a cube or any kind of volume and it puts the bricks on top. This is longer, but we also need a rotation. So we do an align, boiler, rotate vector. This is a new node with a rotation, an Euler to vector. Uh, what we have to do, we have to capture an attribute from the face because what we're going to do uh, here it's still a volume we're going to convert it to points and then you lose the face normal data so if we create a normal we capture it here we plug it into the vector and now if we scale this put the rotation in as well see that a rotation also considered and we're gonna fix this later so if we take this then we're gonna say mesh to points and then we're gonna put this on edges if we then put this to five well, let's keep this one at ten but we're gonna scale the brick a little bit so scale it on point zero three there we go now we are going to scale it in one direction so here you can see we have brick pattern it's a bit weird on the corners uh, but if we add a more like this uh, it looks already like a brick wall that we can scale but what we also need is we need Separate geometry. Here, the points. And we can do faces. And then in my library, I have the asset browser, the XYZ selection. So I can select an X, Y, or Z uh, direction of the face normals. So if I plug this in, it disappears. I want the X and the minus X see here I have all the rest do it again separate it put this one in I want the y and the minus y you want to know let's do this one. inside I just made this node group that you can choose all the x minus x the y and the minus y 
calculates the, the normal as you can see here you can just copy this you can use just one of these they work also so now we have split uh, geometry if we say join geometry like this and we plug this one in here so here we use mesh to points we use edges here we are going to use let's see this is the other the y and minus y so we don't use the z only use the y and minus y edges but here we're going to say vertices and with this one we are going to say faces so we are using the vertices and faces here and here we use the edges if we plug this in uh, you see that now on the corners they will interlock they are still offset but if we uh, put this over here say transform geometry now you have to just offset it a little bit like this now here you can see that we have a nice interlocking brick these outline cavity now we can see very well we can change the size of our brick a little bit this and this is basically the trick so in the one direction you use the edges and in the other direction you use the vertices and faces and if you combine these points and also use the normals that you capture before like everything looks like a, a brick wall what you need to do next is uh, you need to link all these values together uh, that takes some time so if you scale it uh, all the seams will be the same you can see here it's going to be in the tool that i'm going to release on blender market and then you can set the brick length all the sizes stay the same the brick height and you can also change the margins between the bricks so you can make all kinds of crazy structures and patterns and also colors so this is a quick uh, trick on how to do these brick walls uh, and i hope it's useful for you okay bye